Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is Neon. We've got some news on the Nintendo Switch 2. Just how beefy is the hardware going to be? How beefy is the Nintendo Switch 2 going to be? The mythical Nintendo Switch. No, it's coming. We don't know when. They've been talking about it for ages. I hope that it's effectively the same thing as the Switch and they don't get nuts with it and pull a Wii U and be like, yeah, let's have something completely, totally different. I would love for the Switch 2 to just be a more primo version of the Switch. I hope that it's got backwards compatibility because I've got a lot of Switch games. I have got so many Switch games and I want to be able to play them on this new system. But uh, we're going to talk about where we're at with it. We're going to talk about this new chip that they're discovering. Uh, no one should expect the Switch 2 whenever it comes out to be the most technologically advanced console out there. That is not Nintendo's MO. That is not how they do things. In fact, they have a term for it. It's called lateral thinking with withered and weathered technology. Basically, they wait until good technology, good enough technology is cheap enough to use uh, on a wide scale, widespread basis, and then they maximize uh, you know, that technology. So I think what we'll probably have is like basically a portable PS4 type unit, you know, but at that point, that technology is going to be cheap enough to keep the price point down, which means that there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of market saturation. So we'll, we'll talk about this. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so for more gaming news, gameplay videos, et cetera, et cetera, opinions and game adjacent content. This is coming from WCCF Tech. WCCF Tech, yeah. Nintendo Switch 2 should be able to comfortably deliver smooth 1080p with ray tracing, new analysis suggests. So yes, good news everybody, your Nintendo Switch 2 will do 1080p. You're not getting 4K, you're definitely not getting 8K, but you might get 1080p. Very little is known about it, but leaks revealed the name and some of the features of the processor that's gonna power the console. The uh, Tegra T239, a custom version of the T234 processor, thanks to this, it's possible to get a rough idea of how games will actually run. Thanks to DLSS, all games run above 30 frames per second. So, okay. <laughs> Good news, everybody. The Nintendo Switch 2 will run uh, 30 frames per second in 1080p. Okay. Look, it's going to be about the games, right? It's going to be about the games, and but they do have this custom chip. Everybody's talking about this this uh, custom chip, this new NVIDIA chip. And, you know, it, it was running things like, yeah, Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what this looks like here. Um, this is coming from Digital Foundry and what it could potentially look like. So do we have, let's see here. That's not here. Cyberpunk 2077. There we go. Yeah, it's not terrible. I mean, it's better than the better than the PS4 version, right? You know, but uh, we'll see. It's look. This is not going to be a powerhouse. It's not going to be a powerhouse. Um, they said Digital Foundry says that this uh, T239 chip has the hardware to facilitate ultra, ultra fast loading, which might point towards some legitimacy in a previous rumor about a closed developer demonstration that saw the hardware running Breath of the Wild at 4K. 60 frames per second, even though this is going to be uh, relying on more details that the experts have yet to find. So yeah, Nintendo's not really, look, Nintendo does this. If you've ever watched any documentaries on Nintendo, they will deny, deny, deny that they have a new system in the works because they're not going to release it until they're damn sure that they've gotten every last drop of blood out of the consumers for the current version. They're not going to tell people right before Christmas that there's a Switch 2 coming officially and give the specs on it, you know, and have people risk not buying a Switch console this Christmas and not buying all these Switch games this Christmas. They're, they're going to be like, oh, no, no, no. We're going to wait until, you know, after the new year. Then, then we'll hit them up with, oh, yeah, there's a brand new Switch coming, guys. And it should be out, uh, you know, this this holiday season or whatever. That's how they're going to do it. They, they did it with the Nintendo, the NES. They, they lied, actually. They said, oh, there's no Super Nintendo in the works. We're not doing 16 bits. No, 16 bits not the future. It's 8 bit. And they did this with the 16 bit console as they're working on the N64, as they were working on the 
the PlayStation uh, joint venture with Sony that crumbled, right? They were trying to convince everybody that they needed to, to you know, hang on to their 16-bit system. And the, you know, Donkey Kong Country was the future. They are going to get as much out of the 16-bit system as they could. And look, for the most part, they did. I mean, Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario RPG were pretty amazing games. Star Fox was an amazing game, but, like, it wasn't the norm. It was like they had a couple of, of uh, you know, games that really pushed the limit you know, push the boundaries of the hardware at the very end of the life cycle, but it wasn't going to be like, oh, we're going to get another five or eight years out of this console now because everybody's doing pre-rendered backgrounds. <laughs> it's like, that's not going to work. But um, yeah, so here's here's what we know about, according to Ars Technica. Now, what do we know about the Switch 2's hardware power? They said that they actually could be using a slightly outdated uh, Amper Era version of an optical flow accelerator, right? which I'm, I'm more inclined to believe that this new chip will probably just be like, uh, I guess a lateral move. I mean, again, knowing Nintendo, knowing how they do things, they'll probably be like, oh yeah, we want that processor just a little bit better, you know? And how, what's it gonna cost? Okay, because we got to keep this system under $300 or whatever their price point is gonna be for it. I think it'll probably, I, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be like, I don't know if they've announced it yet, but probably $300 at launch that seems that seems a very like a very nintendo price point and they're going to want to keep it around 300 bucks or whatever for a console so they're they're not going to use like the latest greatest technology they could just use you know um something that's a couple of years old and uh, it's cheaper to manufacture now you know but uh whatever the case may be uh don't expect don't expect the switch to to be a graphical powerhouse. I think it'll get the job done. I think it, for, for a portable, it's gonna be pretty good. But really what's gonna differentiate the Nintendo Switch 2 from everything else out there, it's gonna be the games. It's gonna be the Zelda games, the Mario games, uh, the independent titles. Um, if they you know, keep on keeping on how they've been doing with the Switch and they let independent developers constantly you know, uh, bring stuff to the, the eShop, uh, all kinds of crazy indie games, and it's it's a very accessible product for the general public, they're gonna be fine. I mean, it doesn't have to be the most powerful system out there. You know, it really doesn't have to be. It just has to be good enough to play good games at a good price point, and people are gonna flock to it. You know, and again, with Nintendo, it's all about the software. It's not even really about the hardware. It's the games. It doesn't matter how uh, technologically advanced their system is, or what technology they're using. Like the Wii would have been a dud if the Wii games didn't use the controllers to the best of their ability, the Wii would have been a dud. But because the games were fun and they were designed well and they're timeless, a lot of those Wii games, Wii Sports, it's, it's pretty timeless. And uh, that's what sells Nintendo systems. That's why people are nostalgic for Nintendo consoles 20, 30 years after they've you know, left the store shelves. It's because of the games and the memories they have with those games. So I wouldn't worry about the specs. I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't worry about the specs. I, I think it's gonna be a slightly beefier switch. I just hope, I hope, hope, hope it has backwards compatibility. That's all I'm asking Nintendo, just backwards compatibility because I do not wanna buy all my games over again. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more gaming news and gameplay content here on Clownfish Gaming. We'll talk later. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including let's plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, she wait. was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong.
Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run and carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>